Mate, I was, I, was, uh, I was a week out when it happened as well. At the time, yeah, a week out. Come on, Georgie, mate. Jody boy. Jody boy, there. So we love. That's what we love. That's what's nice about coming to these places. Get around the like-minded people. Not quite, not quite the same down the old, uh, the old YMCA. Not even allowed a videographer in there. So we're in, today we're in, it's for the legs. Give you guys a bit of an idea of what a sort of tick all the boxes leg session, like a mixed leg session. Bit of a big one as well. As always, we'll get stuck into it. It's been nice to actually be able to get into some leg training now. Numbers are moving in more of a respectable place. So we are kicking things off with the hamstring curl, and then we'll be on to the adductor, and then we'll be on to the first big hitter movement, which we'll reveal in dramatic fashion in a minute. Hamstring curl wise, this is a bit fancy, you can make it hard in certain places. What we're aiming to achieve is just nice alignment, where you feel nice and comfortable, making sure you can lock yourself in. Make sure we spend time owning that squeeze. Own the squeeze. Let's get in to the work. Just doing, just chucking a few of these in there. Make sure we're nice and warm for that working set on the uh, hamstring.
so we've had to improvise a dugda in use. The movement in question being used. So we're thinking on our feet. Now, usually, if I was in obviously a gym I'm a bit more familiar with, I would have just jumped, I would have jumped in with them on the adductor. But you know, I've got, got a camera there. I'm sure they don't want that. So, you know, they don't know who I am. So I just left, left it to it. Same with the barber. So we're gonna go, what we did, would have done after, we're gonna put it in now. So glutes with the calves. So with the uh, abductor, abduction means to be taking away. So if we're trying to use the abductor machine, we have to remember that the goal is to move the resistance this way and to use the abductors in order to do that. So the, the easiest way to ensure that you are doing that is not to really be pushing the feet downwards. So if you push the feet downwards, you use your quads and that will help kind of push away and it'll kind of, you'll be using the quads to help move the weight. So what you'll find is, you go nice and light. So as far back as you can, and kind of just let the feet kind of just hang off a little bit. Good posture here. And straight away, you'll be isolating the intended muscle instead of thinking how much can I move from A to B on this machine. You know, just understand that we're trying to use these muscles here. Resistance this way. Much like any movement, we want to isolate. And the best way to isolate your glutes is just to remove the feet altogether. And you can have them by hanging off the edge. If that's not an option, just bring them a bit higher. So your feet are a little bit higher like here. And so that you're not putting any weight through them as well. tips I can give you for your calf raise is spending time in that stretch position is so important. You gotta think when we spend all day walking around and like generally what the what the ankle is made for and what the Achilles is made for, it's got a spring system in there. Otherwise you can imagine if we didn't have that and we're walking around all day, yeah, our joints would be wrecked. So we naturally have a reflex. So that's why a lot of people find their calves don't grow. It's because they're not controlling that bottom part and really making sure that you are just using the calf and no momentum and no reflex in order to move the load. And you'll, you'll benefit always from being able to do this tempo with less load then more load from A to B. So driving it up, wrong one, there we go. Nice and slow. Try and let, try and feel that stretch in the calf. Slowly driving up and then tiptoe hard. Squeeze through those toes. So two sets on it, the go again. Ah. Ah. 
Ui. Oh. Oh, ya. Ay. Small legs. We are now priming ourselves for the stiff leg deadlift. That is the movement we're going in now. So we've done the ham curl, we've done the abductor, and we've done the calf so far. So I would have liked to have done the adductor first. Not the end of the world. We'll do it in a minute. We'll go through the stiff leg in a moment. Got some dude here who's... What do you already have? Eight plates? Seven plates? Insane. That's what you need, then. So we're getting to the stiff leg in a minute. I'm just going to prepare and get it done. Strings. And I like to, at the moment, control the eccentric, so the down part. I'll vary that as well. Sometimes I'll run no eccentric and just pull as hard as I can. And then sometimes, like I'm doing at the moment, it's a really controlled eccentric. And I kind of swap that every like three to four months. <laughs> so you may find you need to pull from off like blocks to get into this safe position. Big thing you want to focus on, get the shoulders in line or behind the bar. So you have your own leverage helping you pull the bar up. It's such a big factor with the, with the deadlift. at this stage of the game. So just taking a smidge off the weight. Before I just lay it over here, that's it. In my mind. And I give it all a love tonight. I don't get it spiced. Give it all a love tonight.
Abductor just in reverse. Keep the quads out of it by keeping those legs up a little bit. So it's really trying to focus on squeezing in, keeping the hips in good posture as well. And when you're done, I'm not used to this machine, so I don't want to fuck it. Bring yourself up. Kelvin, we're gonna train. What else have we not? What have we trained yet? We're going back to. We're going back to push. We're going to push through. So we're moving on to leg press. Getting those quads on smoke. This really challenges that deep. What's going on there? That deep in range, a deep puff. Pretty tired. So let's have it. I can't feel that. Like that I'm 
least a quad extension so we've ticked the boxes nicely add up the well no not, not an order <laughs> ham curl abductor calf big hamstring and glute movement what do we do after that adductor because we missed it at the start and then into a, a press which is a leg press for the quads and then it's really challenging in that bottom position. Gets easier as we drive up. So we're finishing the quads from the other angle. We're really getting it smoked to extend. And that is the full leg there.
so I'm sort of yeah, yeah, yeah. enjoyed it seeing me suffer as well and that concludes the uh, EP chapter amazing place Stockport highly recommend thank you for the hospitality as well very kind of them until the next one who knows where the next video may be it may not be in England we shall see for now I'm gonna drop all my stuff so I'm gonna go and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.